I don't exactly remember when I first went into the Drill Hall Gallery and saw Sydney Nolan's Riverbend, but it felt like I'd seen it before. It's an epic panorama of bushland, and it's immediately familiar. It's a landscape that could easily be any part of Australia. Every time I see Riverbend, I can't help but be drawn in. It's so big, about nine metres long, and it takes up a huge sweep of the gallery wall. I walk alongside it like I'm drifting along the river through the trees, capturing glimpses of the shootout between Ned Kelly and Constable Scanlon. Riverbend is considered to be one of Nolan's masterpieces. He apparently painted the whole thing in his studio in London in just three weeks, and he said that Riverbend came from the memory of boyhood holidays in the Victorian bush. It's been said that Nolan had the ability to make even Shakespeare look like a swagman. That's how distinctively he evoked Australia. And Riverbend is distinctively Nolan, with his square-masked Ned Kelly appearing through the panels. This painting is a representation of landscape that will stay with me no matter where I go.